estate sale time Friday the 14th I'm heading up to Newark Delaware Newark Newark Delaware let's see if I can bang out some junk very few things happening so gotta go after what is out there so let's see what happens bang some stuff out Look at that scale. They're no good. 15 high so far. Ooh. I like it. Almost good. Damn. Some deer horns. Ducks. Is this uh, your? Are you putting this on up here? No. Uh, you're looking to. Where's all the old bottles at? Coleman cooler, roached. Wow. That's my mom. Really? Yeah. Like I said, slim pickings. I only picked this up because I like that cage. I don't think this is worth anything. I'm trying to learn about these. We're going to find out. It looks old. And of course, it can. Five hours spent today. That's You've arrived. Time. Destination is on this your right. Is wasting my time. I know it. But I'm taking a shot anyway. Um. These people are usually really crazy on prices. So let's see what happens. Yeah, that's nice weight. Some garbage, man. I just bought three Dunlop tennis rackets. Now, this is something I don't know much about, but some of these look pricey. I'm sure it's about condition. And an old DuPont. This might be Bakelite. It's pretty cool. Two bucks. score big here. They don't even know it's here. Me neither. This is about game face on. This is that's huge. It's a McCoy jack o' lantern cookie jar and they don't have a price. Seiko. I believe once in a while you get the worm and I did this morning. That uh, McCoy cookie jar they totally missed. Paid ten dollars. It's Jack O' Lantern. I'm gonna look it up. I got a feeling it's valuable, and I got a feeling somebody that collects Halloween that I know is gonna say, "I want that." <laughs> so he's gonna to trade for this, and I think this is a really banging piece, probably from the '50s. I didn't see any damage. I'm sure when I get home, it'll have a big long crack in it. I'm just good. I can't. I have to say it. I'm good. Uh, that's my biggest pickup of the season so far. They're selling for over 500 hours. I did not see any damage on this except crazing, which people will accept. A Jack-O-Lantern McCoy cookie jar. There's the comp right there of what two of them sold for. This is crazy, man. 
I have struck again. It just, wow, I am blown away. So back in my hometown after a nice scores in Lake Placid, free stuff. Uh, it's time to show you what I got at two estate sales today. Big two dollars on an oil can. Uh, this is probably worth five. <laughs> so nothing, nothing, dismal. Tennis racket. I'm buying it because it's got the Spalding cover. And I got a feeling that people, I don't know what this is or what it's worth. But I picked it up for three bucks. So I'm in at five. I'm in at five. And I'm not feeling good. I'm thinking this weekend is, is not going to be anything. I'm close to an estate sale now. So I said, you know, these people are way overpriced. But I went anyway, two miles off the highway. So this is my first pickup. This has DuPont USA on it. It's one of those old, is it Bakelite? Uh, possibly mirror. $2 for that. I think that's an okay score. Um, if not, oh, well, $2 is no big deal to take a shot at. I'm, a lot of people are at state sales and they're all running around with their phones out. I mean, going over everything. They're buying boring things. And I'm after stuff that's unmarked and won't come up with the... Because uh, I want to... This is sitting there, and it's unmarked again. It's a Dunlop tennis bag. They had their own tennis court at the house. So let's look at these, and are they worth $10 I put no on? No comps. This one's probably been thrown a few times. I don't know. Uh, this one's got a little staining in it, but I'm not worried about that. That'll probably come off. I don't know how people, um, think about grips. And then this one here, Dunlop. Uh, I didn't comp any. I just bought it thinking, you know what? This is damaged, probably. I don't know anything about these. But this was a boring buy. Um... We'll see. Maybe I sell it as three of them. Maybe they're worth still good money. I don't know. But I got them. And I comp Dunlop real quickly, and I seen that they were pretty uh, expensive. So let's see about these three. I walk back in, and I see this in the garage. So I think to myself, what is this? So I think it's in the video. I see one little slight problem there but i don't think it's big i see this on the bottom that's mccoy usa so i know this is old i know it's old and i know it's valuable i know it it's easy because it's halloween it's a rare cookie jar and i think it's a 500 hour cookie jar matter of fact i know it is so that only issue it's crazy on it and that doesn't, I don't think it matters for this. This is a very desirable cookie jar, as you can see in the corner. The comps on this, this is probably my best pickup of this season, I think. I got to go back through what I picked up over the uh, spring and early summer. This is truly a table of gold, and I've got my new lucky hat from uh, Lake Placid. I'm fresh home, and I'm already scoring, and I am loving it. I uh, don't like estate sales, but now I guess you got to look for the stuff they miss, and they do miss things. Uh, and obviously, they didn't know what the heck that was. They probably thought it was a planner. Good for me and not good for them, but, hell, it happens. And I was there to uh, capitalize, let's say, so... This is my loot. I think I've got maybe up to 700 hours worth of stuff there. I don't know. I might be getting a little crazy on those rackets. We'll have to really look and see how I list those, but possibly. But I know that's a 500-hour cookie jar all day long. I'm Harry Homestone. This is a banging estate sale uh, pickups for me. I'm very excited. And until the next time, I say later.